Welcome to my Monday night. <laughs> I hardly ever think about your thick, stinky feet off. <laughs> this wine tastes suspiciously like I need a trip to New York. I might book it. Dispose of the evidence, shall we? Guess who booked a trip to New York? Ah! It's Tuesday morning, by the way. Oh, also, hi, good morning, welcome to the vlog. I'm so happy you came back. <laughs> and if you're new here, hi, I'm Savannah. I'm cool, I'm breezy, I'm fun. Follow me on Instagram, you've seen that, that I bought these flowers from Chelsea Flower Market at the weekend and put them in this guggle jug. The amount of replies to my DM telling me that this is a water jug, bitch, I know! I just think it looks cool. I'm like, I didn't know. Um, but it smells weird from all the flowers I put in it, so I probably will never use it as a water jug. I do wash my things. I just, anyway. But yeah, we're going to New York. In like 10 days. Cool. Not to run the New York Marathon, I couldn't get into that. No brands wanted to take me either. I'm just gonna go by myself. Because women should do cool things by themselves. Do I have more fun doing things by myself anyway? Also, a friend of mine, I have like three friends, by the way. I know that I say I don't have a lot of friends, but like I actually have like three solid ones that like, if I needed to borrow money off of, I could call, but I also don't message them daily. <laughs> anyway, one of those friends, Maybe if you see this, don't worry, I'm not about to ask you for a loan. I had a baby and I haven't seen the baby yet. So I figured I could go spend some time with them and also like do some running around there. Also figured it could be a cool place to go get content. Cause I don't know if you've noticed, I haven't really posted much content elsewhere just because it doesn't feel like the right time to be posting my usual run street content. But I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me if I'm still doing my run streak. I am, I've just felt weird about showing something that feels like such a privilege. It is such a privilege, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. The reason for posting more fun stuff here is basically just because I feel like if you're here, then we connect, we like each other. And you've probably come here because you want the distraction and to like chat about life things and running is something that's really important to me and it's something that really helps me shake off the nerves. Like this morning, I booked in for a Barry's class, it didn't go because I couldn't bring myself to be around other people. The trainers are also so nice, but I just can't be asked for the small talk, not today. And I just know that going for a run will really help me. I should also probably get ready because I have a meeting soon, but yeah. See you in a minute. Oh my gosh, influencer life is so glamorous. This is what I'm wearing to the meeting because I just feel like everyone knows that these are my pajamas, so I can't turn up to a meeting with this on. So <laughs> hopefully this looks smart enough. I'm definitely late, but I feel like no one will notice if I look intellectual in these glasses. Haven't brushed my teeth yet, they won't know. Hoping they don't watch this. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm two and a half minutes late. <laughs> Something Sarah doesn't want to do, but is potentially hopefully gonna do is do like an underwear shoot. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable, but I'm gonna put myself out there and you know, show other people that you can be confident in your own body. When I worked in a corporate job, there was like a clear structure to calls. Also, no one wanted to be there. So it was quite short and sharp getting through meetings. But now I'm excited to talk about the things that we're gonna talk about. Everyone's super nice, we're all really creative and it goes really well. But the thing that's really tough is no one knows how to end the call. Everyone's like, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you for your time. Okay, have a great evening. Okay. Everyone's just so supportive and nice, but the problem with supportive nice people is they don't know how to hang up a damn call. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time that I wash my face and put some deodorant on. <laughs> how does everyone else make influencing look so glamorous? I fully just lied to you. I'm not going to get ready in any way, shape, or form. Nope. <laughs> Everything must go back where it belongs. That's the loungewear cupboard. <laughs> it's kind of wrong that you watched me sit here and get pissed last night on my own and now you're watching me sit and just do work here. I mean, that's the truth. That's how I live my life, so. <laughs> it's 11.24. I completely forgot that I have therapy in an hour and a half. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna get through a load of admin. I'm gonna do therapy. I'm then gonna film a brand deal, which will probably take me a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna go for a run. Crazy day, crazy day, folks, crazy day. And I will brush my teeth and wash my face and get ready amongst all of that somewhere. At some point, I will. Actually, probably before therapy because my therapist already thinks there's a lot wrong with me. And I really can't have her start calling me out for my hygiene as well as my people pleasing tendencies. <laughs> Just on the off chance that you're here and you're like, whoa, she definitely does nothing. Does she even work hard? Today's kind of my Sunday, and obviously, I only have Steve with me half the week, so I might as well get stuff done. Mm. Also, I do feel happiest when I'm working. So we're just ticking things off today. 
also also as a content creator your brain kind of never switches off because everything's content so yeah just in case you think i'm a slacker i swear i'm not <laughs> tell me that you've just washed your face without telling me <laughs> actually so cold in here so i've actually been in this flat for a month now and I haven't learned how to turn the heating on myself. Basically, it's broken. You've got to do it some special way. But I've got to ask Steve how to do it. So when he's not here, I don't know how to turn it on. And I'm too stubborn to message him and tell him I don't know how to turn it on. So we're going to find out together if he actually watches my vlogs. Because it's upon watching this that he'll realise that I'm so cold. I actually spent some of the time this morning trying to find contacts in New York that I could get some gifting from. So just to explain to you to safeguard your own mental health. So I feel like before I was an influencer, I didn't really understand this. And I'm not really gonna explain this on my Instagram too heavily, but basically you're probably gonna see people like me getting a lot of free stuff gifted, right? You're gonna see me going to meals, you're gonna see me getting entries to things and then marking it as gifted. But what you're not gonna see is the amount of work that goes behind it. Because I think a lot of people see that and they tend to think like, oh, they're getting so much free stuff, I want free stuff. There's a lot of content that has to go behind each thing. So for example, I found a woman who said that she can get me access to these cool restaurants, which is awesome, but she wants a reel and a story in exchange for that. That is a few hours work. And I think you also have to consider that you might not want to sit at a meal and create content. Like a lot of people just wouldn't enjoy that. that they might find that really intrusive. So it definitely isn't just free stuff, you know, there is a value exchange there. So I hope next time you see an influencer getting gifted stuff that it doesn't impact your mental health too much. Um, because they are genuinely having to work for that. As much as it looks like it's free, it's not. There is an exchange of services. Anyway, let's go get therapy. You see that? This is from Osselengi, but I actually got it yesterday. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible because this shit's funny as fuck. This is my like weekly treat. If I've been a good girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Small update for you all on New York. Pomegranate and tahini. Mm. Genius. Managed to do some outreach and get hold of a hotel who've agreed to give me up to 40% off and late checkout, which is awesome. And they've also said that I can share that discount code with you guys and it's a lifetime discount code. I don't earn from that, but I feel like it's worthwhile sharing for all of us. But the key is in the up to. So if you apply that discount code, just make sure you check. And to be honest, it's one of the best price hotels that I found. So I'll take it. I did actually get quite carried away with work today. It's now 6 p.m. and I still have to run. So I'm gonna eat this. Chill out for like 45 minutes and go get my run done for today. Therapy was fine by the way. I'm just a little bit annoyed because I feel like everything I spoke about with her on the phone, I then found myself a scenario as soon as we are off the call that I could have put the stuff that we spoke about in action and I just ended up doing the complete opposite. I just ended up doing what I normally do. So whilst I'm pleased that I opened up and was honest with her, I'm also a little bit disappointed in myself, but we move. Running will help. Happy morning, good Wednesday, good morning, happy Wednesday. Guess he went to bed at 2 a.m. but also booked a gym class for 7 a.m. To be honest, if it wasn't such an expensive gym class, I'm not sure I'd have actually got up and gone. And also Steve's staying around tonight, so if I don't go to gym today, I'm not entirely sure where the next time I'll get to go is. In case you're like Savannah, why are you running to a gym class? Today's actually quite a jam-packed day. So I figured I should probably just get my run streak run done on the way there. Literally today's really busy, so I don't really have any other chances to get the mile done. Well, that class definitely fucking woke me up. <laughs> I also did a food job on the way home because hashtag adulting. Do you want a little haul? Oh. These are like my staples that I get every week. A shit ton of mackerel, some smoked salmon, obviously salmon and cream cheese bagels, duh. Fraud, oh, spag bowl shit. Also probably gonna make carbonara this week. Crips. And then Steve has asked me to try kefir instead of having an axmel every day, so we'll report back if I like that. Also, I normally drink a coffee every day at 3 p.m. and it fucks me up, so I'm gonna try and have these instead. These are like non caffeinated Cokes. These are unreal. I guess the new bagels mean that I can get rid of my current moldy one. Well, this one went off a while ago, but I kept it in the cup just in case I was ravenous for bread and had no option. Fishy got fresh ones now, bitches. Honey and ginger, let's taste test. I didn't tell you how much you're supposed to drink. I tend to do the shot the night before Steve comes. Mm. I mean, it tastes good, I like it. I'll just drink half. Steve is staying over tonight and he's probably gonna be with me for the rest of the week. And we had a conversation recently whereby we realized that I was getting so caught up in work that I wasn't being the most conscientious girlfriend. 
The love language that he likes to receive is very much acts of service. So like me doing a food shop the day that he gets here will make him feel really loved. And I haven't been making him feel very loved recently because I've been doing a lot of work. I've barely been asked myself to be honest, but the ways that he requires love to be shown actually really benefit me anyway. So like, win-win. Oh, sometimes I feel like I get so caught up in the, if he wanted to, he would buy into it. Like an ex being so expectant of him that I forget to actually be a good girlfriend back. I'm saying all this knowing that I bought all the ingredients that he's gonna have to cook because as I've mentioned multiple times, I cannot. Because my love language is being fed. Time to swap out the weekly milk. The boy drinks cow's milk like there's no tomorrow. But yeah, this one's gone off, so I obviously had to replace. I'm actually obsessed with any flavored cashews. I can't get enough. I eat these every single day. This place, Neo Cocktails, gives me some non-alcoholic cocktails. Which, to be honest, I have been having a glass of wine every night, so this could be a good swap. But we'll see. It's not at the point where it's a problem yet, but <laughs> it'll be nice to have the option. These actually look fire. If you want to see this covered, you're going to judge me so hard. Steve hates it. That'll do. <laughs> I wanted to explain one more thing before I get ready in case you're like, Savannah, why did you run and do a workout class? Again, not something that I publicize too much. For me and my run streak rules, I made a decision really early on that a workout class would never constitute as part of the run streak because I don't feel like I get the same things from the workout class and the run. That's kind of just my personal rule. But I have seen plenty of other people that don't consider that a thing. I've seen loads of other people doing like a run streak or a movement streak and if they did a jog in a workout class then they would allow that as part of their streak, so each to their own. Okay, you guys have to get ready now. She's gonna be late. Um, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I'm wearing a bra. Who is she? Do you know what? Since I've quit my job, I just haven't known how to dress. So stuff like this, I'm just obsessed with because it's so easy. Like, I, f I feel like you just can't go wrong. Anyway, we're on our way to do something fun now. An Indian brand has invited me down to try on some of their outfits and they're in Harrods, which is super cool. And I'm also going to my cousin's wedding in Agra in December, which is where the Taj Mahal is. So I want a really cool outfit, obviously. So I'm hoping that I can try on some bits and find something that catches my eye that is a little bit blingy. And this brand basically only offers blingy Indian clothes. So I'm quite excited about it. And we'll obviously take you guys along for the ride. I'm actually so excited. Look how beautiful they are. Whoa, so many sparkles. And this I can borrow a couple for India. I'm gonna look so fly at my cousin's wedding. Ooh, oh my goodness, and look at the back. Maybe this one isn't wedding appropriate though. Maybe we keep this one for a random event, but. <gasps> okay. Okay, but if this one fit me, I think this would be my favorite. Look at the back. I'm gonna show you the full dress, hang on. Okay, so she would need altering, but oh, I wanna own this so bad. Mm -hmm. Imagine an event, imagine turning up to an event like this. Imagine going on a date like this. Oh, this is my favorite thing that I've ever put on my body. That's it for the try on section of this vlog, folks. <laughs> I want to own all of it. Could you actually, could you, could you actually just be quiet while I'm vlogging? Yeah. Thank you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's my favorite kind of brunch. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, look at these. Are they hot? While I was in the shop, I decided I was too hot for a cookie. So I got ice cream instead. Double chocolate. Mm. I am home now. It is eight. Hey, where did the day go? I also didn't last in the bra today. I never do. It, co oh, it always comes off halfway through the day. I just can't stomach the feeling of underwire. Ugh. Today ended up being filled with loads of meetings, um, some yummy food. Found out about halfway through the day that Steve's actually not gonna be coming up here tonight. We forgot that there's a parents evening. Whoops. I may not have my boyfriend here, but I did come home to a Lululemon order. How cute are these? Shall I try them on for you? BRB. They're so nice. They're called the Classic Fit HR Short 3 Inch Lululemon Align. Catchy. They're actually so nice. They've got pockets. They're a little bit looser than your classic tight short. I mean, they're not that loose. They're also pretty damn short. I'm sort of fair. I'm a short shorts girl. I think I'm actually just gonna spend the evening reading and doing some editing and drinking some of this. I'm also getting my hair dyed pretty early in the morning, so I should probably get an early night. No. 
I would normally drink the red version of this, but loads of you on Instagram recommended this one and it's actually really yummy. See you in the morning. I may or may not have slept through my alarm again today. <laughs> Little outfit of the day. These are Lululemon. This is Tala. This has a built-in bra in it. I really like it. I go to a place called Shag. Partly because I like the girl that cuts my hair. She's called Phoebe. She's really nice. She does a really nice job. But also because every time you get your hair cut, they call you a top shagger. And I just... I'm into that. <laughs> my appointment's at 9. It's 8.48. It's an 11-minute walk away and I want to get coffee en route. So I better get going. <laughs> I'll show you coffee when we get home. Holy crap, you guys. I had an absolute mare of an afternoon. Also rained, so that's fun. My hair now looks like this. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's a seed from the croissant. <laughs> Actually, you know the place that I went yesterday to try and outfits? They offered to lend me something to wear for an event that I'm going to today, and I'm really excited because it's like a fashion event, and I never really get to go to fashion events because I'm more of a fitness influencer. But yeah, I'm really excited. They basically said that they would lend me an outfit and they sent it by courier today. They sent it whilst I was getting my hair cut, and the courier said that he left it on my doorstep. He, in fact, did not leave it on my doorstep. It took me an hour and a half to locate it. He left it in front of some random door. To be honest, the fact that I got back after my haircut and it was still on my street is just i live in central london it's unheard of that someone wouldn't have stolen that anyway i got the goods i do have to spend some time now doing like accountant stuff like my vat stuff is due also a couple of brands are being kind of annoying about the content that they want from me and i just don't like the briefs that they've sent over so also gonna have to spend some time figuring that out i have to leave for the event in like three hours so i'm just gonna try and get as much admin done as i can now and then we'll get ready and then hopefully depending on what time parents evening finishes and traffic steve might be coming to the event with me tonight so i'll show you my outfit later and maybe steve's too if he manages to get here i always put this bag on the floor so i can try shoes on <laughs> And guess what? I think Steve's gonna make it. He's supposed to be here in like 15 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna be late and I'm gonna get to go with him. I didn't touch my hair, but to be honest, <laughs> that's because I foresee me getting sweaty. I know that's kind of gross, but like, I feel like my hair just reverts to this anyway. Doesn't matter what I do to it, this is just what it looked like, so I might as well just leave it. I even took my Garmin watch off for the occasion. I like it a lot. He made it. Oh. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in how long? Too long. Oh, Too many days. many days. I hope you're not wearing a white shirt because my makeup's gonna get all over it. No, no, no. It's bright blue. Do you like this outfit? Deep blue. Do you like my hair? I do. Is it all, are you not a fan? Of what? My hair. How would I not be a fan of your hair? Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it. Okay, good. I mean, not that I care. The sparkle on these is insane. Hee hee hee. Say hello. Hello. We lasted two hours. That's Pretty big for us. It's quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. We did good. The drink's really good. We had them spicy. What are they called? Spicy. They're called picantes? Is that what the kids are calling them? Oh, are you posting it out to your story? Yeah. It's my biggest fan. We were saying that when else you're going to get to experience the inside of a shop on Oxford Street at night time. Yeah. It was pretty baller. It That's was a pretty good. cool experience. You it's like a cool that. experience for me because yeah. I don't get to do this stuff very much. Yeah. No, it's. It's, I'm not an influencer. Yet, no, no, so. don't get don't get me wrong. It's it is really cool for me. I just find it overwhelming. But I'm really happy that we went because we managed to find some pretty cool people, right? Cool people. Yeah. We managed to find people working for brands that I really love to be associated with and managed to have really decent conversations with them. So I'm re like it was worth going for that alone and I hope I came off okay. Do you think I came off okay? I think you came off really well. I only had one drink as well, so Hoping yeah, that I was compass mentis. I'd really like some scrambled eggs. No. I'm not doing I could go for scrambled eggs. Could you make me some scrambled yeah. eggs? Yeah. Got bread. I've got bagels and I've got 24 eggs. That's perfect. And I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to a reformer class in the morning. I feel like people need to know it's half nine at night as well. Why do they need to know that? Anyway, good night. Good morning, fellow worms. I assume we're worms. Oh, three drain shit. Fuck. Uh. assume we're bundled up today because it do be cold. Do you like my worm coat? We're gonna go try Reforma Pilates today. I've done it once before, I didn't love it. We're going to One Rebel. I'm literally such an idiot for booking this though because I have so much work to get through today and I'm going to dinner and a comedy show with my mum and brother at five. So that means I'm gonna have to cut work short. I also set through my arm like an absolute doofus. 
so I don't know how it's all gonna fit inside the day. I'll just do my best not to cry later. Do you know what's extremely humbling about Pilates is the fact that when I think of Pilates, I think of cute, strappy, light support bras. There's no equivalent for us big boob girls, so I'm wearing construction. There's nothing cute about my outfit today. I mean, my shorts are cute, but my bra, she's a shelf. But yeah, we need some like cute, strappy bras for the big boob girls, please. Are you good to be on the tube? Because I'm a tuber now. Where do you want to go? We're good to be on the YouTubes. Oh, I thought you meant on Let's Get On The Tube. No. On the way here, I was saying that when I think about Pilates, I think of like strappy, cute bras, but we don't really get access to those because we have no. big bazungas. That's the, that's the no. one annoying thing. Like, I wish I could be that girl yeah. that's in like, the tiniest little itty bitty titty no. bra. The other thing that I think of when I think of Pilates is white trainers, and I was so excited there's a black trainer. I've never had a black Pilates, a black trainer as my Pilates teacher. Yeah. Playlist on point. The other class I've been to, I've been to one other reformer class, which I, I won't mention their name on the tube, but they are uh, <laughs> on the tubes. It was like really dancey, and I feel like as women, I don't know if you feel the same. Sometimes I feel embarrassed to be feminine in fitness spaces. So I feel like maybe that's part of the reason I didn't like the other one so much. But I actually really liked one rebel. I would go again. I'd probably get a membership. I'm Do you like my Pilates outfit? Lululemon the king yesterday. Lululemon. Construction is Nike. It's focusing on you instead of me. This is all about me. I've only got like four or five hours to smash through some work. But I just heard from my family and they, st they are staying around tonight. But they also want to stay around on Saturday night. And I'm feeling like a lot of guilt because... Saturdays are a work day for me, so I basically had to tell them that they can't stay around. Well, I haven't said that they can't stay around. I've basically said that if you do stay around, I'm going to still have to work. I just feel really shitty about it. I'm going to get Steve to make me a fancy coffee in a bit. <laughs> Steve keeps asking me if I'm cold and I just don't know why. <laughs> Actually, I've had loads of DMs asking me where I got this coat from. Fricella? Do you see it? Do you know what I was just thinking? People asking about where this jacket's from reminded me of the story of how I got it. Do you remember when you got it for me? Yeah. Do you remember why you got it for me? Yeah, because you was always freezing when you used to come see me. That's not why. That's not I why you bought it for me. You didn't have one oh, of do you remember? Do you remember the day that you gave it to me? Uh, no. Let me remind you. Okay, so picture this, okay? Middle of COVID, I'd lost my job about like six months previous. So about six months of doing interviews, eventually get a job. Was so excited because the wage was pretty good and... I got to the final stages and yeah, I got the job. Basically, we started celebrating mm. and I'd call up later that evening to find out anything that I needed to bring to my first day of work. And they were like, oh, we're actually so sorry. We forgot to call you back. We have s since hired someone else. They, they gave, like, gave it to an internal candidate, didn't they? they get, yeah, they basically mm. they gave it to someone internally after offering me the job and mm. I was so gutted. And that same day, Steve had ordered me this coat and it came in the post. And I remember lying in your bed crying and you coming upstairs. And you bought me two to choose from. Do you remember was that? that day? Yeah. You, you, bought, sure? you bought me two to choose from. Yeah. Yeah, the other one was rubbish, wasn't it? Because, this one's really nice. Because you used Cameron to like try it. You thought Cameron bringing me the coats, because it was both of you. Like, it, I think you thought it stopped me from crying and being so depressed. It made you cry more. It made me cry more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is your sign that if you're going through it, things are going to look up. That's what this cult means. You can't stand behind me on video like that. Hey, do you want to make me a fancy coffee? Yeah. Let me take you on this journey with us. Do you know how to use this? Shut up, do I know how to use No, I don't know how to use this. Also, have you seen the flavours of coffee they've gifted? We've got pumpkin spice, frosted caramel nuts, we've got decaffeinated. Why are these in here? Bin. No, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Soy toxic. These aren't, these aren't for you, don't act like you use them. When's no, the last time you used this? Can you serve them? Where is that? Well, I've never used it. Steve makes the coffee, I don't know how to use a machine. But, but when did you last asked me for one of these. <sighs> Shut up. It's too strong for me. They're too strong for me. I wouldn't have a strong coffee unless I had frothy milk, which is why the milk frother was such a good gift opportunity. Let's not bully each other, Steve. The girl who's wanted a milk frother for years. Tell them how this started. What, the milk frother? How long ago this started? How long I've wanted a milk frother? Yeah, go on. Wait, oh no! Okay, I wanted a milk frother so bad, but I couldn't afford one. <laughs> So, Steve's mum bought me this, and I've been using this for five years. What would you like, pumpkin spice cake or frosty caramel nuts? Um, I'll have the pumpkin spice one, please. First go. Steve's first attempt. Let's make this more aesthetic, um. shall we? Ah, much better. Is it quite literally just the press of a button? That's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you expect? I don't know. I thought it would be more high tech. No, 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 that's for the aestheticness of the video. I bought this for you, by the way. Did you? Yeah. I thought you'd like it. That does look good. This is a good present. It actually looks like stuffing. It's working. <laughs> Wait, then you're going to pour it in. Why? To make it look aesthetic for the vlog. If you make it look really good, maybe Nespresso will pay us. You've got it pointing up, so you can't see it. It's not about you, though. No. It's about me. No, you can't see the coffee, though. Oh. Why don't you have it like this? See? There you go. It's about me. It tastes like cappuccino. Oh, it's actually really nice. I can taste the spice. For someone that's so nervous about the amount of work she's got to get done today, and that's also not been very nice to her family, did I actually need another coffee? How many have you had? It's only the second one, right? Yeah. I always add toffee drops to my coffees. Three, four. Do you want to show me your outfit? You don't have to if you don't want to. You can, you can stay there. Look at him, respectful king, keeping his shoes oh. on by the door. I like. I think we look cool together. It makes me really want to put yank them out. Okay, yeah. that's helpful. Okay, do you want to get your shoes Sorry. on? Let's go. Get your jacket on. Yeah. We've got to go meet my family for dinner. We've got to be there in like half an hour, don't we? We're going to Black Clock, which is like one of our favourite restaurants, but solely because the dessert's so good. So good, isn't it? It's, good. it's unreal. It's like a deconstructed cheesecake, and we love it. Yes! There they are! <laughs> Would really recommend these, we always get these. Oh, these are the free chocolate bites, they're so good. This is the kimchi one. Egg. Cheese and pickle. Looks like that. Looks so good. You need to get the perfect mix of all the ingredients. <laughs> We are home now. We went to a show, we went to a comedy show. I asked the fam what they thought of it in a second. Managed to come to a compromise with the fam, so they're, good. they're all gonna go out, have a day. I'm gonna stay at home at work and then we'll congregate for dinner. You're the best, the best one. How is K Curd? Absolutely brilliant. Bye, what would you say at the end of the YouTube video? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, do what they said. <laughs> I hope you had a lovely weekend. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you real soon.